hear that. That's why I love that song. I absolutely love that song. He's great. He does miracles. He's great and there's none like him. Because the God I serve, he's the one that decides to put a period. Um, we're about to go into the word of God to breathe a prophetic word to your neighbor and say, when you come out of this, I see you being better than ever. I'm just working on my back. I'm working on my better. I'm in, you know, be nice to your neighbors. I'm in class. I'm in better one on one. I'm working on my better, you see. Hey! How many need things to get just a little bit better? Raise your hand. Where are you in better one on one? And, 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 and this, is, this is for some of you. This ain't for everybody, but some of you understand what I'm about to say. The devil gave you his best shot, you still stand. <laughs> After all that, you. What? what? I, I'm still here. What? You still stand? Oh, you did all that, and I'm still. Welcome to Battle 101. All right. <laughs> you in 101. Battle 101. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. And he got good news to share. I'm working on my battle. That's all. <laughs> Be nice and say, I got a little trouble, but I'm working on my battle. <laughs> Witness in the house that that's right. Because if I'm lying, just say I'm lying. After all of that, you still stand. After all of that drama, after all of that chaos, you still stand. Apparently, there's somebody greater on your side. Be nice to your neighbor and say the anointing on my life. It's stronger than the attack. Woo! Shout! Hey! Somebody Somebody greater! Sorry, I didn't, didn't mean to raise my voice. But when you mean something, you sometimes modulate just a little bit when you mean what you say. All right. We will not. Thank you, Lord. This is not a long message today, but it's a good one because it's a God one. First Timothy, chapter number six. Oh! Somebody felt that. It's in the atmosphere. My belly is in the roof. <laughs> Can't help but to magnify. Right when things get real tough. Right. The tough get going. Amen. And I got somebody on the inside of me that can't be beat. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you say to yourself, "My God, did not last time I saw them, they was in shambles." <laughs> but somebody say, "Take the shackles off my feet so I can praise Him." <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He's great. Yes, he is. The miracles. Yes, he is. 
He's great. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. There's no one like you. Hallelujah. Oh, my. First Timothy chapter number six. There is good news in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. First Timothy chapter number six. Verse number twelve. Thank you, Jesus. First Timothy chapter number six, verse number twelve. And uh, 1 Timothy is toward the end of the body. 1 Timothy, T-I-M-O-T-H-Y. Verse number 12. When you have it, say, I have the word. I have the word. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before many Witnesses. Somebody holler out, fight! Fight! The good fight of faith. The good fight of faith. Tell your neighbor, I'm in the fight of my life. Fight of my life. But I still win. I still win. Amen. Thank you, God. Whoa! Somebody holler, fight! Fight! Father, I love you and I thank you so much for your people that are gathered in this house. And I thank you for your divine instructions to these people. Bless your people. Do what you always do. Be yourself. Ha! And we'll be satisfied. In Jesus' name, we love you. And we thank you. Amen. Be nice to your neighbor. Say, I'm in the fight of my life. I'm in the fight of my life. But I still win. I still win. Say it one more time in the atmosphere. I'm in the fight of my life. I'm in the fight of my life. But I still win. I still win. To my giving praise in the atmosphere. In the fight of my life. Woo! And that word is for somebody. Somebody know what I'm talking. I'm in the fight of my life, but I still win. Woo! There's children. Oh! There's children's ministry available for your children. Hallelujah, Sister Teal um, does a wonderful job ministering to them. Um, allow your children to be ministered to. Praise the Lord that is available to you. I am in the fight of my life. Yes, Lord. But I still win. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'll tell you what. Some of you will get to the place where you really understand that God is on your side. Yes. Some of you really get to the point where you say, you know, God is on my side. Yes, yes sir. No wonder yes, the sir. psalmist said, if it had not been for the Lord on my side. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, with, 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 you know, it, obviously, um, when you have done all you know to do, when you've all done all that you know you have the potential to do, you've done all that you know to do, and it's still not enough, you have to have somebody Bigger than your adversary fight for you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You ever, you know, we used to see all the time in cartoons and stuff like this, and you see the big, big guy fighting a little somebody, and they say, go and pick on somebody your own size. <laughs> in other words, you're not fighting fair. You, you are really, um, you low down, as they say. When you fight somebody, you know you can beat up on. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I was to take my one year old and I'm a beat fighter, you know. And I'm I'm 38. And praise the Lord. I'm much bigger than she is. Well, bless the Lord. I have lost eight pounds. But I'm bigger than she is. Oh, y'all can praise him over there. Thank you, Jesus. You know, y'all know. Y'all know when I preach, I holler a little bit and jump a little bit, but that means I can jump over just one more chair. Somebody say, one more chair. I'm going to jump on the chair. I might do two of them now because I'm a little lighter. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Uh, but you, you, you know, we think it is so unfair for you to beat up on somebody that you have the ability to beat. Praise the Lord. Oh, and it's so not fair to do so. But that's life. When you have an adversary that knows how to whip you, many of them going to keep whipping you until you learn 
how to fight. Praise the Lord. And I'm talking to some people that's been knocked down recently. You've been hit, but you're still standing. You know, you've been knocked down, but smile at your neighbor and say, but not knocked out. I know you didn't be knocked out, you're still here. You can be knocked down, but not knocked out. And then, and some of us, if we really want to go there in the spirit, some of us was knocked unconscious. But thanks be to God who never sleep nor slumber. Even when I was out, he was still in here. <laughs> Woo, you know. A little trouble, a little problem here and there. You know, I saw my brother on Thursday night. We had a knockout time Thursday night, by the way. Y'all missing something if you miss Thursday night. Praise the Lord. We went in, praise the Lord, Thursday night. But my brother here, he separated his shoulder on Thursday night. And this morning, he stretched his hands out to still minister this morning. See, you got to learn that just because you down, you ain't out. You got to keep pushing. So you don't know, even know how much of an example you're being even today. Praise the Lord. You, 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 you got to be able to look at your enemy and say, I know you think you're winning, but I'm going to give it all I got. And the good news is, God going to give it all he got. Uh oh God is the great game changer. You see, you look like you're going down, but here comes God. And all of a sudden now, the game changes. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is not a long drawn out message today because it's very simple. Praise the Lord. I find that the most effective things that can be said to you are the most simple things. And yet the most simple things, we make the most hard. I know people that can understand the most complex things, the complex, I mean, things you're like level upon level upon level upon level upon level, they can understand it. But then when it comes to something as simple as keep moving, they're like, huh? <laughs> Praise the Lord. If what you have in your life is any God in it, it's going to be attacked. Can I say that again? The word of the Lord says, every work shall be tried by fire to see what type of work it is. If it is of God, it has the ability within itself to last. Praise the Lord. And to outlast. <laughs> because there is a time clock on your trouble. And praise the Lord, there are troubles that attack you. And there's a time on it. There's an expiration on it. Heavens allow an adversary to attack you and says you've got six months to complete this attack. And many of us do not understand this. And this is why some of you had five and a half months of it and you quitting just before its expiration. Somebody say outlast. You have to have something on the inside of you that is stronger than what is surrounding you. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's right. And the only way we know what you have until it is tested. Come on, sir. Yes. Come on. I can talk until my tongue fall out that I am a pastor. But it is until some of y'all try to make me not that way that I know that I am that way. Because if anybody know like I know, it takes people that will not do what the pastor say to know if the pastor is the pastor. Because if you're only a pastor, when people do just what you say and act just the way you want them to act and do just what you want, then you're not much of a pastor at all. I am a pastor because God made me a pastor. Some of you what you are involved in, it strikes to the core of who you are. Thank you, Jesus. But whoever you are is going to always be stronger than what is attacking it if it's from God. Yes, right. yes. I told somebody the other day, I said, man, that's a good thing that that happened to you. And you're saying to yourself, how can that be good? Because now we know what you really got. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Lord. That's it. Fair enough. Amen. Amen. Think about this. You ever heard people brag about how much money they have? Then when it comes time to spend some, they act like they don't have it. Oh y'all, oh, oh I only, oh, I've only met those people. Yeah, child, I can buy anything I want. I can get anything I want, and I can do so and so and so, and I can so and so and so. And now you talking about an extra five dollars away? I got to pray on it. I thought you was the one with all the money. 
When you really have a lot of something and have an abundance of something, you're not as concerned about small things because you know you have more than what is being presented to you. That's true. Yes. That's the, the mindset that we must have. I have learned, especially over the last two months, there are people that's in this room right now that God has spoken to me concerning you. And I know that 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 you are in trouble right now. And God has said to me, you're going to end up better than when you came into it. And what I'm praying for, I'm not asking God to stop your drama and stop your...